<clears throat> All right, so we're going to start with arc measure and arc length notes. Arc measure is what you have been doing. <coughs> We've been using angles upon arcs and arcs upon angles. It's all the same. The last part is that arc length that I talked to you about the other day, where there's going to be a formula for it, but it's actually like centimeters, inches, whatever. So measure is degrees, arc length is like regular uh, standard units of measurement. So the first one says, find the measure of the arc or angle indicated. Again, wherever the little question mark is, you will use everything that you've learned so far. So inscribed angles, central angles, the fact that the circle is 360. If you see a diameter, it cuts the circle in half. So you're gonna use all of that to figure out what the question mark is, okay? So the way that I always start is usually by whatever they give me. This one's really easy. We already know how to do this one. So how do I find this arc if I'm given this angle? Mm-hmm. Remember our formula angle equals half the arc. Sorry, so your angle is 38 equals half the arc. And you don't have to show this work. You know that you multiply by two, then go ahead and just multiply by two. Okay, that's not a big deal. So we're gonna multiply by two to get rid of it. <clears throat> And we get the arc is 76 degrees. Everybody good? All right, super simple. Same thing on the next one. We have this angle, which will help us with that arc. The good thing is the question mark is there, so that's all right. So taking it a little bit quicker, we said multiply it by two to get the arc. Sorry, I'll minimize this and get it out of the way. Any questions? Check the next one. Same thing. <clears throat> really easy. 30 times 2. which is 60. Let me show you something else really quick, just in case you have this on your EDIA assignment tomorrow. You guys see how this angle also matches this arc? Does everybody see how that works? That means those two angles are the same. So they have, if they ask you about this angle, it's gonna be 30, okay? So if they have the same arc, they'll be the same angle, okay? <clears throat> on the next one, it says find arc PQR. And if you look, it matches with that angle. So it's really easy. Same thing that we've been doing. Two times 115, which is 230. <clears throat> the next one is also fairly easy. And then we'll get into some that you have to do multiple steps for. Okay. So number five. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I don't know what's going on. We have the angle 53 that matches the arc with the question mark. So we do the same thing, two times 53, which gives us 106. <clears throat> now on this next one, we have this angle which corresponds to this arc, but we need this one. What else do you see in this figure? A diameter. So we don't need this half of the circle. And we know that this half equals 180, right? So we'll find the blue arc, and then we can figure out what the question mark is that way, okay? So to get this one, we're gonna do 37 times two. <clears throat> We get 74. So then to find the question mark, we do 180 minus 74, which is 106. It's not going to get much more complicated than that right there. Okay, so that's what you got. Look at your next one. <clears throat> 
this angle matches arc BC, but we're not looking for BC, we're looking for the question mark. However, we have half a circle. So this is the same exact problem, different measures. So this is gonna be multiplied by two, so we get 88. Is everybody okay with that? To get the question mark, we do 180 minus 88. which is 92. <coughs> All right, same thing on the next one. 95 is gonna give you this big arc. And then I'll have the 74. And then I just need to find the question mark. So let's find this big arc first. So 95 times two. What's 95 times two? 190. Everybody good with that? So then I have the full circle except for this little arc right here. So how much is the full circle? 360. I can either add those and subtract from 360 or I just subtract them both. Minus 190, minus 74. And what do you get? I got 96. Check behind me, make sure I didn't type anything wrong. Any questions? So nothing crazy. <clears throat> number nine is just like number seven. We have a diameter. We know the arc is double the angle. So if the angle is 35, the arc is 70. We don't need this half of the circle. So we just do 180 minus 70, which is 110. 10 is just like number eight, which is a little less word. 58 matches with JK and I already have JL for arcs. <coughs> Everybody okay with that? You multiply by two, get 116. And then to figure it out, subtract it from 360. So 360 minus 110 minus 116. It's gonna give you 134. Any questions? All right, flip it over. <clears throat> this one's a little different. Tell me what you see. Not a hard question, literally tell me what you see. So we're definitely finding this X, that's what we're solving for. But what do I need to be able to find this X? I don't need the rest of the circle. Think about it this way. I need this arc. So I need this angle right here, right? <clears throat> nope. I mean, that's gonna give me 15 X, but that doesn't give me what X is, right? You can do that, don't get me wrong, you can do that, but. Inside the what? Oh, does everybody see that triangle? That's what I was getting at. So remember we talked about quadrilaterals inside and now we have a triangle inside. What are the degrees of a triangle? How much does a triangle equal? Yeah, right? So a triangle equals 180. So we have 57 and 63. So I can figure out that last angle by subtracting those two. And I get 60. And now we use our formula angle, sorry, angle equals half the arc. 
our angle is 60. The arc is 30x. And just like you said, you can use 15x there. And that's fine. You could have done 57 plus 63 plus 15x equals 180. That's the thing about geometry is whatever way you see it is going to work. Okay, so the 15x would have worked as long as you knew to add these to 180. All right, so you can multiply by two or you can go ahead and half that 60 equals 15x divide by 15. And in this case, x equals four, and that's how we need it with the x. <clears throat> All right. That angle will tell us the arc. What's the arc going to be? What else do you notice? Yeah, so we don't need this half. So if I add these two, they're going to add 180. So 10x plus 14 plus 66 equals 180. They add to 80, so 10x plus 80 equals 180. Subtract 80 and you get 100. Divide by 10 and you get 2. And again, the only thing I would suggest is make sure you read your directions. These all say find X, but at some point tomorrow, they may say find the measure of blah, 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 or something like that. Okay. So just be ready for that. Uh, even today, they might do that on your quiz. <clears throat> All right, so check this one out. What do you see? This is probably the hardest one on the paper 13. I definitely have to find this little arc right here, but I need something to be able to find it. What do we learn about what kind of shape is that inside? It's not a specific shape. What is it? A what? A quadrilateral. What did we learn yesterday about quadrilaterals? <clears throat> inside they do equal 360, but I only have two of them, so I can't do what I did with the triangle. What did I learn about their angles? Their specific opposite angle. Not the same. They equal 180. Okay, so opposite angles equal 180. So we can find this angle over here by doing 180 minus 84, which gives us 96. All right, then again, these are the hardest ones, so don't, don't freak out too much. That angle will give me the full arc if I multiply it by two. So the full arc is 192, but I already have what? 130. So subtract 130, and I get so this little part is 62. Very right, good. All right. Is there anything else I can do? What else can I find? Think about it. Don't think too hard. And it's not X. What else could I find? Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Now that I know that that's 60, can I figure out what X is? Everybody see that? 
So yes, you had to find a couple extra things. Again, this is the hardest one. So angle equals half of the arc. The arc is 5x minus 12 plus 62. <clears throat> if you want to go ahead and multiply by 2, that gets that fraction out of the way. I get 5x plus 50. Subtract your 50. You get 70 equals 5x. And then you get x equals 14. Again, those are the hardest ones, and you're going to probably have to find all angles inside of that quadrilateral. Right. Back to some easy ones. Back to some easy ones. Notice how we have all parts except for this one on the outside of the circle, but I can find this outside. How do I find the outside? Multiply it by two. So this one's going to be 24x plus 14. What do I know about the full circle? So we're just going to add them up equal to 360. So I'm going to write it down, but you don't have to do all the writing. Plus 31x plus 7 plus 24x plus 14. Squeeze that in equals 360. We have a total of 85x's. We have negative 1 plus 7 plus 14. 20 equals 360. We subtract 20, we get 340. We divide by 85, we get 4. I'm pretty sure on your quiz, I just hit regenerate. So probably the questions like 13 will kind of look the same. And then the last one like this, and then we'll do arc length. We have the 47, which means we can find this arc. Is everybody good? And then what else do you see? Yeah, so we don't need this half of the circle. We can add those up. 10x minus 4 plus 94 is going to equal half the circle of 180. And when we put that together, 10x plus 90 equals 180. When you subtract 90, you get 90. Divide by 10, you get 9. Again, don't forget to look for those diameters because they're important. I don't really give them to you for no reason. Okay. All right, so then on the next one's arc length. So this is what you need to pay attention to, length versus measure. Measure is everything that we've been doing. Okay, arc length is a specific formula. It's the degree over 360 equals, I'm gonna put AL for arc length. Uh, over two pi r. It is two pi r because it is part of the circumference. It is a portion of the circumference. We will do area of a sector soon, which means how much area does a slice of pizza cover in the pizza? Okay, so area of a sector, a sector is a slice of pizza. And it's almost the same formula except for this bottom part right here. Okay, and we usually do that during reviews. All right, so your degree is the degree of your central angle. So if you guys look at this one, they're very cut and dry. Don't make them any harder than what they are. Keep it in terms of pi though, and I'll tell you what I mean in just a minute. Your degree is 45 over 360. We don't know our arc length, so that's gonna be X. And then R stands for the radius. Sometimes they will give you the diameter on these. They give you the radius the whole time. They make it really easy for you. 
and then you're just going to solve. And here's what I mean by keep it in terms of pi. Do not put pi into your calculator. So we're going to cross multiply and get 360x equals. I'm going to do 45 times 2 times 8. How about I put it in right? And I get 720. So this will be 720. And then just throw your pi on the end. The reason I do that is because it'll make a very, very nice fraction for you. Okay, very nice fraction. So we'll divide by 360. And then I'm just gonna do 720 over 360. Math, enter, enter. And it gives me two. So your answer is two pi. That's it. Don't make it any harder than that. Don't try to put decimals and make it crazy. It's not worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and do 18. We'll move over to 17 and 19 in a minute. Okay. So what's our degree? 30 over 360 equals X over two pi. And then this time our radius is 18. We're gonna cross multiply. We get 360X equals 30 times two times 18 is 1080. Last step, we divide by 360. Then I do math, enter, enter. And it gives me three pi, and I don't have to worry about rounding or writing a crazy decimal. Okay. If your choices on your quiz are decimals, literally just put in three pi and you've got your decimal. That way it won't be off at all. Okay, it won't be off at all. On number 20, what's your degree? 135 over 360 equals X over two pi seven. We're, oops, sorry. We're gonna cross multiply, we get 360 X equals 135 times two times seven is 1890. And pi. We're going to divide that by 360, math, enter, enter. And we get 21 pi over 4. Again, if you need to know the decimal, there's your 21 pi over four. I'm sorry, 21 over four times pi. It'll give you 16.49. You guys know how to do the decimal. All right, two more and then I'll leave you alone. What's your degree? 210 over 360 equals X over two pi, our radius is 14. We're gonna cross multiply. We get 360 equals 210 times two times 14, which is 5880 pi. We're gonna divide by 360 and math, enter, enter it. Sorry, that's not an X. We get 49 over three. Next one, what are your degrees? 45 over 360 equals X over two pi and 18 is your radius. Just make sure that they're giving you your radius on that. What if I give you a diameter? Half of it, good. Cross multiply 45 times 18 times two. So that gives us 360 X equals 1620 pi. We're gonna divide by 360. Math, enter, enter. X equals nine over two pi. 
And again, if you need the decimal, just multiply it by pi and it'll give you what you need. Any questions? All right, take your time on the first 15. I would do 16 through 20 first on your quiz if that's what it is. You know, the last part first, those are really easy. And then go back and do the other ones, but it's whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna stop sharing, stop recording.